February team, back at it again. Hope you guys had a fantastic Thanksgiving. Mine was cool. I didn't. I went to work, so I don't really participate in the festivities of eating a bunch of food. That's not my thing. Um, I don't really celebrate Thanksgiving, but I'm thankful for. Like I said, I think I'm thankful for all my friends and family and people that I surround myself with and people I know or whatever and people who like me. Um, but anyway, on to episode 32. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing, liking, sharing, all that good stuff. Um, we're in episode 32. Uh, today we're going to talk about this topic today is have you ever met uh, anybody famous? Um, living in Vegas, I've met quite a few famous people. Not as many as you would think, but I've met quite a few famous people. Uh, some cool, some not so cool, some are dicks. Um, but that comes with the territory. What do you expect? Not everybody is as uh, nice as they seem on TV. Um, but uh, let me start with uh, some of the people I've met. So I'm from Chicago, um, born and raised. Big R. Kelly fan. I was working on the strip um, for the security company. And um, it was like Grammy night or something. something. Some award show was going on. It was a while ago. It was like early 2000s or whatever. So I'm working down, uh, I'm working on a strip and all of a sudden who walks down the, down the strip, R. Kelly with like five females with him, like in a line or whatever. I'm like, Oh shit. Um, the Pied Piper is here. Um, so, um, he's walking. I walk up to him. I'm like, what up? He gave me a hug and everything, like a man hugging everything. He was mad cool. I didn't like get into a conversation with him or nothing like that, but he was, he was a super, down to earth dude, he gave a dude that he didn't even know a hug. He was he was cool. So that's a positive experience. I also also went to the TV two concert and it was one of the best concerts I've ever been to in my life. Just wanted to throw that out there. R. Kelly, with all his legal problems, whatever, whatever. But he is a good artist. He's a good uh, music maker. So I I still listen to his music even though he's going through all that other stuff. Um, next person uh, I met was a. Uh, I didn't meet, really meet him, but he was in the area. It was Ray J. We went to this thing called uh, this event on New Year's Eve one year. Me and a bunch of Air Force people. And uh, Ray J was there. I didn't talk to him, but he was, he looked like he was cool with uh, everybody that was there. He wasn't no dick. He wasn't like big time and nobody. So he was he was kind of, he was all right. I didn't, I didn't have anything against Ray J. He was, he was, he's not a big time celebrity, but he was real cool. He wasn't a dick to anybody that walked up to him. Um, the next celebrity I met was uh, Jamie Foxx. Now, I was a big Jamie Foxx fan. I loved him on The Living Color, The Jamie Foxx Show, and all that shit. Um, I had an opportunity to meet him one night. My boy in the Air Force, his girlfriend at the time, was uh, her father was his security. So we all went out. Uh, we met at the uh, whatever that casino is on the, on the strip. I can't remember the name of it. But we went at this casino or whatever. And... Uh, he was a big, complete dick. Like, he was an asshole um, from from what I remember. So we were, we were supposed to go to a club with him or whatever and hang out. And he was like, I don't want to hang out with no military motherfuckers. That's what he said to my boy. And I was like, God damn, that's kind of kind of rude. So um, we was there. It was an awkward situation. Um, I just didn't like his whole vibe. I think he was trying to big time us or whatever. It was before he won an Oscar for Ray. So he was on his way climbing up or whatever. So and he, I didn't, I did not enjoy um, that situation with Jamie Foxx. Maybe he's a cool dude, but from the time that I that that situation when I met him, he was not cool to us, and I will always remember that. I still enjoy his movies and listen to his music or whatever, but he's he's forever on my dick list as far as celebrities that I've met. Um, I just uh, saw Wale at the. Um, at the airport the other day, he was he was cool. I was like, "What up, Wale?" He was like, "What up?" I didn't fucking uh, go harass him and shit, but he was he was all right. Um, oh, I just saw Alfonso Rivera. At, if you know him, at, you all, all should know him as Carlton from Fresh Prince. He was on a Southwest flight. He came off the flight. He was taking pictures with every, pictures with everybody, talking to people. He was mad cool. I was like, "This cool. These guys. This guy's a real stand up dude." He was real nice to the people that was asking him for his autograph and. Asking him for selfies and stuff. He wasn't. He didn't do no dick moves. He wasn't like nobody called him Carlson or nothing. I'm pretty sure he would have been mad if somebody did that. But 
he was real cool, and I, I respect that. He was a good dude. I, um, he didn't have to take pictures and stuff like that, and he he was he was real cool. And I, I like I said, I re, I truly respect that. Um, that he wasn't a, a dick to people that that didn't know him or whatever. Uh, I think that's all celebrities that I've met or seen. I, I don't. I'm not really a celebrity chaser, so I don't really care about that kind of stuff. I think all people are the same, no matter what position you are in life. You're still a person, and you should treat people with respect, whether you're a fucking big time movie star or just a regular dude like me. Um, if I was famous, I'd be I'd be the same person. Some people can't um, take that kind of uh, fame. Some people take that kind of fame to their head, and they think you're, they're better than you, and that's not cool. I wouldn't. I would never do that if I got famous or whatever. So. I enjoy the, the celebrities that act like real people that are are real people are real genuine, um, and I respect those people. But the ones that are dicks, they're gonna just continue to be dicks and expect you to support them. I guess um, that's all I got. Uh, have you ever met any celebrities? Uh, how were they towards you? Um, did you have a good time when you talked to them or met them? Were they dicks or were they real cool? Were they cool individuals? Uh, I want to hear stories about the cool ones. I don't. I don't. I don't care about the the dickheads. I like to know who's a dick out there, whatever. But I want to hear the cool the cool stories. I like people that that are, are real people that be that are themselves in real life, or whatever. That aren't fucking assholes to people. Um, that's all I got for this episode. Uh, like, subscribe, share, um, comment, tell me your story. Uh, like I always say, you could have been any on anybody else's YouTube, but you're watching mine, and I truly appreciate it. Uh, no matter what time, day, night, afternoon, evening, you're watching this. Thank you for watching. Thank you for letting me into your life. Like 10 minutes of your time. I truly appreciate it. Uh, have a fantastic day. I will get at you on the next one, episode 33. Um, I'm not sure what topic I'm going to do yet. I said my tease, but I'm not going to tease it. I don't, I, cause I don't, I don't know what I'm going to do next, but, uh, it's going to be a good topic, whatever it is. Have a good one, guys. I'll get at y'all next time.